Would you like my advice, Del? Yeah, why not? Go on, chuck in your penny. You've got to go, son. If you don't take this chance, you'll spend the rest of your life wondering what might have been. It's the kind of thing that will eat away at you. I know it'll be tough on young Rodney, but eventually he'll learn to stand on his two feet. In the long run, this could be the best thing for both of you. Cheers, Albert. Yeah. Thanks very much. Yeah. Perhaps one day you'll try explaining it to Rodney for me, you know, because you're better at it than me. Yeah. I'm gonna phone Jumbo now, tell him what time I'll be arriving. Let's see. Oh, there you go. Tell you one thing, phoning Australia than I'll hurt your finger. <laughs> Jumbo, still boy. Eh? Hey? Well, with your money, you ought to have a phone in the car, Zee. <laughs> you... Now, listen, um, bit of a problem. Uh, Rodney won't be coming over. Now, we've got a few snags this end, see? Me? No, I won't be coming over either. No, it's... You know, it's loyalties, isn't it? You know, family ties, all that. I know what I am. No, just, I'm sorry, mate, you know, the whole deal's off, you know, you know, it makes sense. Anyway, thanks very much for the offer, you know, it was much appreciated. Yeah, I'll see you around, pal. Cheers. Well, I'm glad my advice helped. <laughs> <laughs> well, what else could I do? I suppose it'd be for the best in the end. Are you happy now, son? I don't know, no way, I suppose. It's like a big weight's been removed from his shoulders, I know that. Well, I suppose that's something. Well, see you in the morning, son. Good night. Good night, hon. All right. Mm. Oh, yeah, bro. I owe you an apology, Del. Yeah? Well, all, all them things I said earlier, I was right out of order. And, um, well, you've got to take that opportunity. No, too late now, brother. I've already phoned Jumbo, telling him that whole deal's off. Oh, you ain't. Because of what I said? Yeah. Well, yeah, in a way, Rodney, in a way. Because you, you know, you said that the real opportunity lies here, didn't you? You know, the country's in a bad way, money's tight. People are looking for bargains. I mean, you know, and who do they, who do they turn to, you know, first, eh? Blokes like us. Yeah, they blokes like us. You see, you know, I was sitting there and I thought to myself, I thought, no, I thought Rodney has hit the old nail right on the head there. I thought, this wonderful land of ours is on the, it's on the eve of a golden age of the black market. And <laughs> you and me, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna be in there first. I'm, no, I'm glad I listened to you, Rodney. I really am, because if I'd have taken that, you know, chance of a lifetime, it could have ruined me. <laughs> so we're still partners, then? <coughs> yeah, if you'll have me back. Ah, oh, well, let me sleep on it, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Smack you in the nose, you saucy sock. <laughs> hey, Dale. This time next year, eh? Huh? Yeah, boy. Well, you know, this time next year, eh? Oh, well, I'll, I'll see you in the morning, eh? Yeah, I'll see you in the morning. 